Hi guys, welcome to your last bio lesson or your last major unit in Science 10. And then in next week's lesson, we will start global, I mean, climate change with your other instructor, Tony. So today's lesson will actually be pretty short, low key, cause I'm really tired, but you know, yeah. Okay, it's gonna be very few things to take note of. So back to tropism, which is the last topic you cover in your bio 10. First off, phototropism. Phototropism, so tropism is like a plant attraction to something. It'll make more sense as I explain more. First off, phototropism, you know how plants bend towards light. In the definition above phototropism, or the word above, you'll find photo just means light. So photosynthesis, or you're gonna learn terms like photophosphorylation. Anything involving light in bio usually will have the term photo. Now, there are two types of phototropism. Oopsies, don't write that there. Positive phototropism, positive phototropism, which which is when plants bend towards the light, my bad. There we go. So attraction towards light. What is happening? Okay, plant bend towards light. And then we have negative phototropism. This is then part of the plant, part of plant bends away or just tries to go away from light voids light. So uh, a better way to put part oops, part of plant bends towards light. You could also say growth towards light. That might be a better way to say it. Growth towards it. So let me put that down here for reference. Growth towards slash away, depending on whether it's positive or negative phototropism. If I were to give an example, and I did sort of cover this in the previous lesson. Let me just grab a photo. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Let's take this photo and copy paste it. Copy image, paste it here. There we go. That is a positive phototropism from the plant. Where if the plant originally looked like this, but you put its light source towards the side, the plant will start bending towards light source. A great example would be sunflowers, which many of you might have heard of this, how sunflowers bend towards the sunlight. Where maybe at the start of the day, sunflowers will face east, but at the end of the day, they will face west because of their positive phototropism. If I were to give an example, they go sunflowers. But something with negative phototropism or would avoid light would be roots of plants because they, they will not do well in the sun. The reason, actually the reason roots of plants have neg oopsies, negative phototropism is because the roots want water. And then areas under sunlight, like the water, Sunlight evaporates water, right? Yeah, and roots want water. They want to go, go to a place with water, not a place where their water will be taken away. Gravitropism. You can probably guess this, which is plant response to Earth's gravitational force. You might have not guessed that exactly, but you can kind of infer that it has to do with plants and gravity. So, negative gravitropism. The dash to grow, growing against gravity. I cannot spell. And then positive gravitropism. Growing towards gravity. Yes, growing towards gravity. 
And obviously, maybe not obviously, an example of this would be roots. So roots would have positive gravitropism, but negative photo, photo, yeah, phototropism. So plants can actually identify which way is down or which way the gravity force is pulling down by relying on starch in the plant starch that settle in the root cells of the plant. Root cells of the plant. So when a plant is tipped over, starch will sort of move to the new bottom. So if I were to annotate an example with my beautiful drawing skills, let's take, here's um, a plant. Oh, even like I have the green, sorry. It's green, like a plant. Let's say these, this is its roots, okay? This looks horrible, looks like, I don't know, a squid. What is this? Anyway, it looks like something, it doesn't look like a plant. Now, inside the plant, it has starch greens that settle at the bottom. Okay, so the plant's like, oh, this is where all my starch grains are settling. So this direction is down. Now, if the plant is tipped over, and it, it's, it's growing this way, and its roots are like this right now. So there we go. That, pretend these are its roots. It will, its starch grains will originally mean down here. If this, this plant, these were the same plant, then this plant tipped over. Its starch greens will now kind of fall down this way inside the roots. Instead of being like here. So let's, let's do that weird squiggly one. They will all fall down here. And your plant's gonna be like, oh, now that down is this way and no longer this way, the plant will, the stem of the plant's actually gonna, since it has negative. But uh, gravitropism will start growing away from the force of gravity. So here you have your roots, which will actually start bending downwards because of their positive gravitropism. And then your stem starts growing upwards because of its negative gravitropism. So let's erase my drawing. My award-winning drawing. Looks better than the modern art you see in museums these days, I'm not gonna lie. I have been to modern museums. The ones in New York, they're not that great. Pretty boring. I mean, no offense. Okay, stems. So we actually have a similar version. If you want a reference starch in plants, the, in the roots is like the fluid we have in our ear that helps us orient which way is up or down. Okay, and guess what? That's actually the whole, you finished, that's it. Now, for the rest of this class, you have a bio test. I know, fun, don't worry, it's it's open book. And even if it wasn't, I would not know if you guys like went on the internet to fill out fill out this test. Uh, don't worry, don't, don't stress about the test. I don't know, just fill it out. I will give you feedback. And that's the rest of this class. Have fun. Goodbye. Enjoy your long weekend. Good night. How do I stop recording? There we go. Goodbye.